Oh, this is a fun one. Do you guys like the blues? Even if you don't like it, we're going to play you some blues. <laughs> this is a Lucinda Williams tune called Can't Let Go. Growing up in America, you are surrounded by blues and jazz and R&B with every uh, grocery store you go into, every dentist office, every mall, shopping mall, you hear this in the air all the time. So this type of music is really in the fabric of who we are as Americans. So the difference between um, living in Europe and living in America is just that is just grown the kind of music it's not just listening to this music in your bedroom or learning it in school or hanging or playing it with your friends it's really in our everyday life in america so in some ways i live in europe now but i feel very very i feel very um, american in the sense of um the blues is really in me I look at jazz and blues as languages and they pull from each other so they extract pieces from the other and make a new language and I think that's what jazz, what music, what art in general um, is always working on is reproducing itself to build a new language. and. Um, it's changing all the time, every generation of music and dance and paintings and, 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 and art all across the board is changing all the time. And I think that's a really good thing, especially when you can feel the tradition throughout. This is Yella Rosenberg on guitar. I feel like for my type of music, whether it's a small room, a medium room, or a big room, as long as I can feel the people um, connecting to me, it can be small, medium, large, or massive, if I can feel um, if I can feel them, then I'm good. <laughs> I'm happy. It's harder sometimes. I've played really, really big, um, really big venues, and sometimes you can't connect with everybody there, and you want to. So I always like an intimate space where you can, you know you might be moving that person right there or that person right there. So I think it's always special when it's small. When it's over, it's over, it's over, but I can't let you go. It won't take me back. Oh, baby, when it comes around, baby, when it comes around, and when I put me down, I said it put me down, I said it put me down, 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 down. When it's over, it's over, but I can't let go. When it's over.
write my own, I write my own songs, but I also sing a lot of covers, and I love the jazz standards of the '40s. So, all of those songs from the '40s have been done over and over and over again. So the challenge is how can you make your version different, whether it's um, a, a different instrumentation or a different way of phrasing or changing the melody in a way it hasn't been done before. I feel like everything's been done, but then there's always room for more interpretation, more creativity, where a melody can open up, um, a lyric or a melody can go over the bar line. It can, um, you can play the whole song in a whole different key signature, I mean time signature. You can play the whole song in a whole different time signature or a different kind of beat underneath it. And then the rest is doing it live, oh for me, doing it live on the road, night after night, over and over and over again. And then it kind of becomes a whole other animal. It becomes a whole new song. This is, this is me personally. That's how I can learn about how to reinterpret a song that's been done many, many times. In the city, buried the first boy who ever tried to kiss me. A honeymoon night, I've got two black eyes, his babies in my belly, his curse is my life. Ain't nothing. I work with a lot of different musicians and composers and producers and songwriters over the years of my career. And I always feel I'm the melody lyricist person. Sometimes I have a concept that I've written in the middle of the night in my sleep. I wake up and I have to write something down on my phone or in a notebook. And that might be a great song title or it might be a great lyric. I've written whole lyrics in the middle of the night like oh, I have an idea you know and and the next morning you may, maybe go work with somebody and you say I have this idea that just came up in the middle of the night so I always always try to bring a notebook or several ideas of those lyrics or melodies from my phone and that that's that's what I bring hopefully a story and I love working with other writers or composers who also understand that story, or we all try to create the same story. And if sometimes that story works, and sometimes you end up writing another story. So I look at songwriting as a, as a, it's, it's storytelling through song. And that's what I feel like I can bring to the table. I'm just like my sisters, braver than never. Tonight's concert I'm really excited about because we're in Italy, first of all. But second of all, um, I have a great trio with me and we're playing, we're very bluesy influenced and funky influenced. And um, I'll be singing the songs from my past several records. Some are originals, some are covers, some are blues covers, some are jazz standards. But I'm really excited about the new record that I just wrote and recorded that I have not been able to perform those songs yet because we're in a pandemic and I haven't had a lot of concerts to be able to perform them in, but I will um, pre perform some of them tonight. And it's really, they're new songs, so it's still really special to me and I'm still learning how to sing some of them. And um, that's exciting for me because it's brand new material. So it'll be a mixture of all of my records and some new songs that no one's ever heard.
Thank you so much. <laughs> 